Excited. This word doesn't even come close to describe the way I'm feeling. But for now, let's grab my book of designs, head down to Stafford and place the order for the classic minis interior. So guys, tomorrow we begin the special episode, or today because you'll be watching this in one episode. That's right, we're going order in the seats for the mini. We just need to move the car onto the drive, load the seats in the night before, and then we're good to go tomorrow morning, first thing. So right now, let's get in the Golf, back it on the drive and get the seats put in. In the night you wake me up when the sun goes down Feelings right you wake me up when the sun goes down So now we've got the car out, it's about time we open the boot and chuck the seats in. Wake me up when the sun goes down I can't help it baby, not myself when the sun goes down You'll also wonder why I'm putting this in, the dash rails, because I've got something very special planned. Um, but let's get the rest of the stuff in and I'll catch you in the morning. And remember guys, everything's an instrument. It's the next morning, so let's go and grab Mr. Slapper. You right, mate? Is it uh, Mackie's time or nah? Mackie D. Mackie D, what Brilliant. you having? Uh, 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 on a bagel, on a bagel. Are you still dreaming of Weatherspoons? Well, I'll be late at that. We're 10 mile away from Optimize, so we're just gonna grab something to eat and then we'll check in with the guys at Optimize. So, stay safe. Be seeing you. Be seeing you. you. So we're joined here at Optimize with Andy. He's kind of let me come in and film. And I'm just going to ask him about what the business is basically about. So do you mind telling us, mate, what you do? Well, it's that simple. We do interiors for classic minis. The interiors are brilliant. I've seen them at shows and he's letting me look around here now and it's brilliant. They just look really pristine. It's nice and tight, the, the foam, it looks brand new. We'll grab a seat now and we'll have a look at it and you can basically make a judgment of it. And he's kind of going to let me come back down and video my interior being made. And then we'll quickly have a chat about what, what we're doing and what sort of discussion we're having done sort of what design I'm going for but yeah we'll have a look at the seat now mate. So this is the seat that he's recently finished and uh, as you can see it's looking brilliant. He tells me the guy sent in a sort of a Bentley design how the crossfades fade out. How long does it took to do that mate? The extras for the bits you're probably looking at around about an extra two three hours than usual oh. to sort of get these across the interior obviously not just on the one seat um, but yeah that was it like you said he's um, got in touch he'd seen photos of a Bentley that he liked whereas the cross stitch is the opposite way to usual. Usually you'd have it coming out of the centre whereas this fades into the centre. Yeah. So something a bit different. It does look the part and you can see it's finished to a really high standard. Hence why I've come down here to get my seats done. This, this is the design I've, I've brought down for Andy, and he's uh, kind of looks at it. Was it. Is it good or is it bad? Is it's it... pretty good, pretty good. So this is the, the pattern we're going for. You've probably seen this in another video. Uh, so we're going for the, the diamond stitch, and then one little touch that I'm gonna do is, on this headrest, I'm gonna have something embroidered, but I'm not gonna tell you what it is. You can wait to see that until the seats are finished. But it's gonna go there, and I think it'll finish it off and put my little touch on it. So these are the samples that uh, Andy and Optimize obviously pr provide. There is some colours on here that I've chose, but as you can see, there's many different variations. Is this Alcantara? Did yeah, you that's say? an Alcantara. So that's like an Alcantara you can have. There's all other different ones. Now these are leatherette for people that are asking, simply because of me being stingy and cost. Obviously, leather's expensive. Um, it does look better. These are leather, and they smell brilliant. They do, and they do look good. But we've tried to get a leatherette as close to that as possible. And the colours that I've gone for are this. This is what the main seat's going to be. This sort of tan brown colour. 
then the stitching and piping is going to be very similar to this colour or if this colour it probably will be that one to be fair and it'll follow the patterns as mentioned there. Now the big question is mate, how long is this going to take? Um, usually well around about two weeks things take to get started when we're actually on with it but it's fitting it into our schedule which is always the thing. Yeah that's the main thing but like I say we'll be back down hopefully and videoing how it all looks. If anyone does want to come down and have a look simply I, I can't fault the samples that they put together and we'll just have a quick look at them now on the wall. And this is the dash rail sort of design that Andy's going to kindly put together for me. It's not going to be black, it's going to be tan brown with the cream stitch. But the quality of that, honestly, it's just amazing. It's really thick, you can see it's it's cushioned. Thicker than you. <laughs> Thicker than him. Shut up. <laughs> uh, but yeah, that, that's what we're going for. Top and dash in the tan brown colour. And it will look good, in my opinion. Right, so you've seen the design that we're going through. It's going to look good, in my opinion, and I think Andy may agree. Only. Yeah, definitely. He does, agree. he definitely yeah. agrees. Well, he's not going to say it's going to look bad, is he, when he's the one doing it? Well, we always <laughs> think tan interiors always look really nice. They, well, they always go. classic and retro, which is exactly what you want. Exactly, retro look. So what we're going to do is now, I'm just going to say bye to Andy. He's going to finalise a few things, send me some information over, which I'm sure is the process he does with everyone, because it's a business and it seems to be a well-established place. Um, and then I'll be coming back down and we'll be actually videoing the interior being done, my personal interior, rather than just some random interior, which I really do appreciate. And I want to thank you for that personally, that, that's great. Um, so this is bye, bye from Andy and bye from me. And uh, hopefully you'll see us soon when we actually come back and uh, put the interior together and I can start getting a bit more excited then. So yeah. uh, cheers for that, mate. Thank you very much. Ta. Obviously now it's time to go home and I just really want to thank you Andy for watching this. Uh, brilliant today and I'm glad you managed to allocate so much time to us and I know you're busy and we probably kept you too long but that to me speaks volume with any type of service or any type of uh, place you go to actually purchase something and actually talk about getting something done. So thanks again. Also we've got MC Mark driving. As usual. Why? Because what have you done? Because I'm your chauffeur. No, what have you done? Done. You normally tell people something, you've drove... I've drove more in reverse. And what? And, and I've drove more on the services. And that is the biggest fib of all time. So right now we've got 25 miles left of fuel in the Golf GTI supping of fuel drinking machine that averages 12 to the gallon when you boot it. Cheers mate. So we're going to go and get some fuel. Shut up. Sean C. Right. Hey Jack. How can, are you doing boys? Can I wrap this up now please? No, I'm having a little shout out right, to just, you, mate. You can in a second. Right, so we're going to... Hi for Doug. Shh. How you doing mate? Right, well, we will do shout outs soon guys, I promise. And if he's missed if he's missed anyone, blame him, not me. So we're going to go and get some fuel. Then we're going to drive up the M6 back up north. And then I think we'll go for a, a pub lunch somewhere, won't we Em? Ship, shipyard in the house. That's the one, shipyard. So right now, I'll shut up, we'll head to the fuel tank and then give it a quick spin around. Goodbye. <laughs> Treating me to a tank of fuel, mate. Fuel. My ass, I am. Yeah. Because you've used it, you know, putting your foot down and all. Do, 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 do. Get that cat on my face. Why? Just get on my face. You just. Do. And yet again, he's managed to find a what? Weather spoons. No, weather. Weather. Weather spoons. spoons. And it's a nice pint of shipyard. Cheers. Cheers. Unfortunately, guys, it's time to end this episode. But first of all, I do want to apologise for the lack of uploads. 
I won't give you all the excuses, but it's simply been down to life, has just took over. I've had a bit of electrical work to do and I've been on a few vacations and a few trips, so that's why there has been lack of uploads. But there will be more consistent uploads coming soon and I can promise you that we're not going to get sidetracked we're literally I've got loads filmed it's just going to involve a lot of tapping away to get these videos to a stage where you can watch them and hopefully enjoy them now I do want to mention something and it is on a really sad note um Tony who you'll see now has got in touch with me and sadly he's been diagnosed with stage four bowel cancer and it's inoperable and the reason I'm mentioning this is Tony's wish is to get his Mini back on the road so he's got another chance to drive it. Sadly, it's not on the road anymore and he's got a Just Giving page going. And I know I always ask for donations for myself, but donations for myself are simply to keep the channel going, but they're not, not important. This is important. So if you guys do have, say, the extra bit of change, whatever it is, if you could give it a read and read his story and hopefully we can all help him out together to fulfil one of his dreams. <sighs> So, Tony, I hope this message comes across in the right way and I hope this is how you wanted me to present it. Yeah, just give it a read, guys. Also, what I will add is there's no Mini of the Week video. I just not had time and I didn't want to prolong the gap in, in the time that I've not uploaded for. So there will be one in the next one. And moving on to something that is on a bit more of a high note, you remember Kev, Gentleman's Motor Racing Team. He has put a video on called the Total Car Review Special and he literally just slams me and my dad and takes the piss out of everything that we do and it's hilarious. So please go and watch that and give that a thumbs up just to help him out. Really, his, his editing skills are just putting everyone to shame at the minute. So give it a watch. Um, but other than that, guys, what I will say is stay safe, stay sound, and one more thing. Perfect! Perfect.